Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with another edition of Smithbusters. And today, what are we going to look at, Caleb? We're going to look at the myth that pretty much everyone should be using an adjustable gas block on their AR-15. Oh, that's not a good idea? I mean, it's not a bad idea, but it's not always necessary, and it doesn't always fix gas-related issues on the AR-15, and I think that's where the big thing comes in. Okay. So, we've gotten calls on this on the tech line where someone for whatever reason, has an undergassed AR-15. Right. And they think an adjustable gas block is going to solve the issue by allowing them to get more gas. So, kind of going into why that doesn't make any sense, and you'll, you'll see why here in just a moment, let's talk about what the gas block actually is. Okay. The gas block is this block on the barrel of the AR-15 that the gas bleeds into, it goes through your gas tube, and then back into the action to cycle it. So, there's a port drilled in the barrel to make that gas exchange. Mm -hmm. And whenever, well, the gas block itself has a port drilled in it that covers it. Right, and which the, is bigger than said port. There you go. So, that's the big thing right there. The port in the gas block is bigger than the port in the barrel. So, and that goes for, you know, your standard and adjustable gas blocks. So, no matter if you're using an adjustable gas block or not, you can only restrict your gas flow. You can't get more gas. So the bottleneck for the gas is the gas port in the barrel. C correct. Okay. Yep, so I you can it. only restrict it. So if you're under-gassed, then right. it makes no sense to switch to an adjustable gas block. And that's why a lot of guns come over-gassed, because they, the manufacturer leaves in that margin of error to make sure your gun's going to operate one way or the other. Right. And so the myth here, you know, is that everyone should be using an adjustable gas block. So let's go over some scenarios where it would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, and that's on a gun that's overgassed. A gun that's overgassed, you can use that adjustable gas block to tune that gas flow down. And, you know, you can kind of tune it as well with using different weight buffers or a combination of the two. Um, but I typically prefer whenever I can to use an adjustable gas block because it's better to just bleed off that extra gas than to let it go into the action, make it dirtier than it needs to be, and then be slowed down by the buffer. So, Right, that uh, buffer and spring, they just need to drive the bolt forward and put it back into battery. You yep. know, So regulating the gas is really the way to go as far as balancing your system out and making your gun shoot soft. Agreed. So everyone needs an adjustable gas block. I wouldn't say everyone does, but I mean, it's plausible that you should use one. For when, sure. I'm, when I'm building an AR-15, I don't really care so much unless the gun's not shooting right, but on an a, uh, uh, 308, an AR-308, I like to just adjust the gas down to where it shoots softer, as soft as possible anyway. Yeah, agreed. So, you know, I can think of scenarios where I would want to use one and where I wouldn't want to use one, so I say plausible. Plausible. Yep, I'll go with that. If you disagree, please let us know in the comments below. We'd like to hear from you. Hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And why don't you join us next time for another edition of Smithbusters.